I'm sure we'll all agree that a good title is super- The YouTube algorithm is a mysterious beast we all chase yet never seem able to catch. Just when we think we have it, it eludes us once more. But not today, because we've developed and replicated a view-busting strategy that wins every time we use it, including today. And the key to that secret is, YouTube search is dead. Well, doesn't that all sound a little too good to be true and a touch clickbaity? Let me convince you otherwise. Why are you on YouTube right now? Pop your answer in the comments below, because if you understand this, you can start to understand your audience. Are you here to watch your favorite creator? Or did you open up YouTube not really knowing what you were going to watch, and you ended up here? Or did you come onto YouTube to get a specific answer to a specific question? Whatever the answer is, it can be defined by viewer intent. And traditionally, when it comes to YouTube search, the viewer is very intentional. So much so that they type their intent into YouTube to get the desired outcome. And as you can see, we have been very successful in the past at catering to the exact needs of our audience. In fact, YouTube search traffic has contributed over 40 million views to our YouTube channel over the last 10 years. So naturally, you would think as a how-to education-based channel, our number one priority is to make search-based how-to content, right? Wrong. Dead wrong. In the last year, less than a fifth of vidIQ's views came from search, but almost twice as many came from browse. Yeah, we don't want your click from a search page, now we want it from the home page. Now at this point you might be asking, and quite rightly, why would you do this? Why would you abandon your biggest traffic source of views? Well, there's a simple answer to that, the YouTube analytics told us to. From an obvious peak at the start of the COVID lockdown, search traffic on our channel has been in decline, and we haven't been able to reverse that trend in the three years since. So around about a year ago, I decided to hell with the traditional how-to style of video content. We're going to do something different. We're going to target browse, and the results were quite frankly astonishing. Like everything on YouTube, it took us a little while to figure out this new strategy, but once we did, we doubled down on it. To the point that from this time last year, we're doing twice as many monthly views. And so what is the secret source to this success? How do you get people from watching search-based content to browse-based content on your channel? Well, maestro, drum roll please. Give the viewer what they want and then give them what they need. Yeah, that's going to take some explaining, isn't it? I'm sure we'll all agree that a good title is super important for your video, right? It's one of the first things a viewer sees, and this video title is very direct. If you watch it, it should help you write better YouTube titles. But performance-wise, the video's done, meh, 70,000 views in a year. However, it has achieved its objective. It does get search traffic, it is evergreen content, and it does rank on YouTube underneath a Think Media video that has 200,000 views. But here's the thing, is having a video at the very top of the search rankings with 200,000 views a good thing? <sighs> to me, that suggests how to write a YouTube title has a very limited search volume on YouTube. And that's a bad thing. But we all know that writing YouTube titles is very important, right? Yes, absolutely. However, it's not what creators want. It's not what creators crave. It's not what creators desire. And when that mentality clicks in your head... Believe it or not, this video is also about the same topic. How to write titles for YouTube videos. Not that you would know it from the title of the video itself. To understand why we've done this, we need to ask you a question. What do you want for your YouTube channel? Basically, most creators want more views, more subscribers, and depending on where they are on their YouTube journey, monetization. They want to grow their channel into something bigger, and they want to do it faster. That is the basic emotional desire of the average YouTube creator, and that's what our title 
intends to treat. What if you could double your YouTube views with just a few minutes of work? For most people, this sounds like a bit of a pipe dream, but it's actually quite simple. All you need is a little bit of creativity and a YouTube title formula I'm about to share with you. Did you see what we did there? In the title of the thumbnail, we gave our target audience what they want. Grow big, grow fast. And then we reinforced that in the video hook right up to the point where we told them what they actually need, a title formula. So when it comes to pitching your video to your audience, show and tell them what they want and the video can deliver what they need. This is why two videos about exactly the same topic from the same channel can have wildly different view counts. And you won't believe what happened next. But first, a word from our sponsor. You may have heard this tune before because it's one of our favourites from Epidemic Sound. Choose from over 40,000 professionally produced tracks as well as 90,000 sound effects to fit the mood or theme of your content. You can enjoy unlimited downloads on any plan as well as downloading exactly what you need from the track. We've been using Epidemic Sound for years and everything you've heard in this video comes from their library. So make sure to check out the link in the description for a massive discount. So back to this video with its new titling strategy. Yep, it jumped out of the gate with great numbers. But what amazed me was that the video just kept going and going and going. So much so that 250 days after the video went public, it continues to be a super solid evergreen browse video. I didn't even think it was possible to get so many views from browse so long after the video went live. Oh, it's getting views from search as well. I didn't plan for that. It turns out this video has been double dipping, but not for that long. Most of the views have come from browse and it's only recently started trending upwards in search traffic. Hey, if YouTube's gonna give me more views from more traffic sources, I ain't gonna complain. I'm gonna do it again. Ah, that's right, Rob. As well as views, small channels want subscribers. This video did the same thing, but in a shorter time frame with even more views, over a million of them, and almost all the traffic comes from browse features. More views, more subscribers, what comes next? Ah, the algorithm. Everybody wants to understand that, whatever it means. The algorithm is a catch-all term that allows you to pretty much talk about anything when it comes to YouTube growth. And on this occasion, more than 1.7 million viewers have tuned in in less than six months. And look at that, suggested views, browse views, and hardly anything from search. Yeah, I think you'd probably get the idea by now. So let's create an actionable plan for your channel. Think of it like this. Currently, this is where your viewer is, but this is where you want to get them to. And you do that by focusing on one of your target audiences emotional desires that you know to exist. Whether it's getting more views or earning more money or passing a course or losing weight. The pitch of your title, the pitch of your thumbnail, the first 10 seconds of your video, the hook, all start there. Because the viewer doesn't intentionally have to search for this type of stuff. They subconsciously, instinctively know it. And when they see it on YouTube, they want it and they're gonna watch it. So whether you are a cooking channel, a gaming channel, a tech channel, a fitness channel, a finance channel, ask yourself this. What is at the top of the list, the ultimate goal, the basic desire of my ideal viewer? Start there. And once you know that, you need to write a title that is so intriguing and so curious that the only way a viewer is going to resolve it is by clicking on it. And this is where you start. 